Hi there, this is Kurt Yuli Kinsey, La Jolla's Man About Town, and we're excited to share with you today Coach Jason Yuli Kinsey, who's coach at Bishops and also is a private pitching instructor, so stay tuned. Hi there, everyone. This is your man about town, Kurt Yuli Kinsey with Cobble Banker La Jolla. And I actually have a very uh, nice privilege today. I get to interview my own husband, who happens to be the coach over here at Bishops, right here in La Jolla. This is Jason Yuli Kinsey. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> and today they just finished their season. Mm -hmm. uh, CIF game, tell us about the game. No, it was a good hard fought game. We, um, you know, Del Norte is a good team. They got a lot of Division One talent that are gonna obviously go on after high school. Um, and we just battled, we just battled every game, every inning. Um, our pitcher Shelby did phenomenal. She did. Um, I think she had uh, 10 strikeouts that game. Um, you know, but some, there's always a loser, right? So, someone's gotta lose. Exactly. Someone's gotta lose. But you had a great season. No, we had an excellent season. You know, we, uh, we, we beat some really, really top teams in the county. Um, you know, just unfortunately, you got to lose sometimes. You know. So, bishops is this a Division One school? We are. So the way CIF works is uh, each sport is classified in its own division. So here at Bishops, we're Division Two softball. Um, like our basketball teams are Division One. Our water polo team is Division One. So it just all depends. Depends um, on the sport. Depends on the sport. Yeah. Okay. So we're Division Two. Last year we were Division Three, so we did a, to make it this far was is, is a really good right. job for us. So. so Bishops is a private school. It sits on the corner of Prospect and La Jolla Boulevard, and there's 700-ish kids that go to this school. About uh, around there. Yeah. We from sixth grade until twelfth grade. So how does somebody get on the softball team here? Uh, you got to be a student. So you got to call admissions. <laughs> <laughs> you got to call admissions and figure it, you know, and they'll direct you from there. Yep. So. And your senior pitcher this year, where is she going off to school? We do not have a senior. We have a, our, our pitcher is a uh, sophomore. Sophomore. Okay. And uh, she's actually got a scholarship to Georgia. Um, our center fielder, who is a senior, um, her name's Livy. She'll be going to Auburn. Um, nice. So, you know, we've got some really, really good talent at Bishops, and it's, you know, it's going to continue to grow. Right. You know, so. Um, it's just, it's funny to think about how this little town is is uh, is producing such good quality athletic teams. You know, right, they're competing with the, the big, big, the big best schools. best of the best, best of the best, right? Best of the best, you know. So, um, so I think Bishops does a really good job of supporting their athletes. Um, you know, supporting the coaches, uh, giving them a well a well rounded education, um, and I think. That overall just builds a better student athlete. So. Right. And now that the season is over, you are going to transition into what? Oh man! Oh, don't I'm, say cooking. No, right? <laughs> I, I, I got a thing of kimchi that I got to. Right. Uh, I got a can when I get home. We're not going to go there. No. Yeah. Um, just go back to my private lessons. Right. So you he know? has a private pitching. Um, well, you are a private pitching coach. I'm a private pitching instructor. instructor yes. Right? So. Uh, my the pitcher here at Bishops is actually one of my students, um, and, and the pitcher on the other team is actually no 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 no, no. Not today uh, no last game another one of my students was one of my students so okay. I got about sixty or seventy one kids that we train through Powerhouse Mechanics which um, you know and I would say ninety percent of them are all moving on to uh, big schools right so. So if you had a daughter and she is showing promise, um, very interested in softball, she's eight to 10 years old, is that too young to start? No, I, I think it just has to do with the maturity of the kid. Um, you know, what we do is, is uh, very detailed and they gotta be able to grasp um, and have it an attention span to uh, take in what we teach, you know, but here's the deal we you know with powerhouse mechanics We do have different levels. I don't want to say levels. We we train within a group, right? So for instance, you know, we have we called foundation coaches throughout the county um, Here I'm actually the the refinement and programming coach which means when um, I sort of direct 
everybody in their training um, and what they do is they just, you know, they see that the foundation coach uh, once a week and then they'll come to me every two to three weeks or whenever that coach says, hey, they're ready to move on to the next step and I'll reevaluate them. So, Very good. So uh, if someone were to want to get in touch with you about lessons, how would be the best way to do that? Uh, or an evaluation? Oh yeah, just give me a call. Um, you can number 760-678-5739 um, and you know if uh, you get a, a voicemail leave a message and someone will get back to you all right um, well we hope you enjoyed today's issue of La Jolla's Man About Town stay tuned next Monday for Sugar and Scribe and our interview with Chef Maeve have a great week